In this video, we are going on bench with RC high pass filter. The experiment is pretty much the same as the low pass filter, but the orientation of the components is gonna be different. I did another experiment on low pass filter. I will share the link of the video in the description. Let's start by connecting the function generator to the circuit. So here are my breadboard pins. One of them goes to positive rail and another one to negative rail. Then I'm going to connect my function generator to the terminals of the, to the rails of the breadboard. Then I'm going to use a jumper wire from the positive rail to random spot in the breadboard. Here is my one microfarad capacitor. The anode or positive goes to this side of the jumper wire and the cathode goes to the random spot. Then I'm gonna connect my one kilo ohm resistor to the cathode of capacitor and to ground. So we are done with the circuit. Let's connect some breadboard pins to the circuit so that we can get the input and output of the signal on the oscilloscope. So one of those pins is for the input signal. Then for output, I will use one of these pins for ground and another one between the node of the capacitor and resistor so that we can see the output signal on the oscilloscope. Here are my oscilloscope props. This one is going to be channel one. I'm gonna connect it to the input signal. So this one goes to the ground and this one goes to the positive rail of the breadboard. Then I'm going to connect my second probe, which is gonna be the output signal, channel two. So this one goes to the ground and this one goes to the nut between capacitor and resistor. I have explained in my previous video on high pass and low pass filters, the definitions and the definition of cutoff frequency. So right now we need to calculate the cutoff frequency for this circuit. You can find the formula right above the video. So in this video, I used one kilo ohm resistor and one microfarad capacitor. And the formula, and the formula for the uh, cutoff frequency is one over two pi multiplied by the resistor, which is gonna be one kilo ohm, 10 to the power of three, and the capacitor, which is, which is going to be one microfarad, 10 to the power of minus six. So 159.15 Hertz, approximately 160 Hertz is gonna be my cutoff frequency. Over on function generator, I have to adjust the frequency and the amplitude to get the proper signal on the oscilloscope. I'm gonna start by, let's say 20 Hertz and the voltage peak to peak of two volts. And I'm gonna change the sweep rate on the oscilloscope. So as you can see, on oscilloscope, the input signal is gonna be the sine wave coming from the function generator with the voltage peak to peak of two volts and the output signal is the signal between the capacitor and the resistor which is at 300 millivolts the output voltage is too low because the frequency on the function generator is low so i'm gonna increase the frequency slowly to our cutoff frequency which we have calculated it at 160 hertz so right over on also so i have to change the sweep rate again as you can see, right now the input voltage is at 2 volts and the output voltage is at 1.4 volts. And if we, if we divide the output voltage to the input voltage, the ratio is going to be approximately 0.7 volts, which is going to be 70%. And it means that our input signal is attenuated by 70% and reached to a voltage peak to peak of 1.4 volts. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.